this is meena here welcoming you to my channel grow joyfully i came to know about lab when i made bokashi brand lab is a recipe which is part of uh, the many recipes given by korean natural farming korean natural farming promotes the use of indigenous microorganisms like bacteria and fungi in order to enrich the soil without the usage of chemicals or pesticides lab culturing is extremely easy economical to make at home and it has diverse benefits lab stands for lactic acid bacteria culturing the lab serum involves a two step process i have already shared the first video explaining what lab is and demonstrated the step 1 i hope you have seen the same in this second video i explain the step 2 process i suggest using a container which is made up of clear material like plastic or glass so that you can see the layers getting formed here i am showing a glass container where you can see the three layers distinctly the top layer is a semi solid matty layer you can easily scoop it out with your hands or with a spoon you can see the bottom layer also having some debris which we are not interested in what is of interest to us is the central portion the liquid which contains lactobacillus bacteria as well as other bacteria in step 2 we extract the clear liquid that is present in the middle layer using a siphon or a syringe a turkey baster will work well as a siphon we will add raw milk to this extracted liquid the ratio recommended is 1 is to 10 that is one part of fermented rice wash water added to 10 parts of raw milk for example if you take 100 ml of raw milk 10 ml of the clear liquid will suffice i usually use a syringe in order to extract the fermented rice wash water you may use a siphon too just ensure uh, that you do not disrupt the three layers and extract only the clear liquid decide the quantity of lab that you would like to make depending on that use 10 parts of milk keep the milk in a clean sterilized uh, container and add one part of the extracted rice wash water like in step 1 choose a container glass or plastic which is uh, wide enough and add the two ingredients milk and the rice wash water cover the top with cotton cloth piece or paper and tie it with rubber band or rope please ensure that one third of the space in the container is empty leave the container undisturbed without shaking in a cool spot without exposing to direct sunlight let it sit for 5 to 7 days again here the duration is not exact it depends upon the ambient temperature the extract that was got in step 1 had small quantity of lab as well as other microbes got from the environment first we want to increase the population of lab so we feed them with a source of lactose lactose is the food for lactobacilli milk which is got from cow or goat is an ideal food source for lab proliferation because it contains lactose second by saturating with milk we also dissuade other microbes from proliferating so that our final product has predominantly lactobacilli when is step 2 completed you need to look for only one signal clear formation of two layers so you may start observing after 3 uh, days or so you will find cheese like material on top this is uh, the carbohydrates fats or proteins from the milk it may be semi solid or solid depending upon the kind of milk that you have used you will also find another layer which is yellowish water this is what we want this is the lab serum we are going to extract it by filtering this cheese like material definitely has to be removed by 7 days because it may melt and it may start a secondary reaction please take care of this i am now opening the container after 5 days you can see the two layers 
the curd or cheese like portion on top and the yellow liquid it's very easy to extract this liquid water just use a simple sieve and uh, ensure that only the liquid portion is extracted take a look at the cheesy portion or the curds portion the consistency depends upon the kind of milk that you have used the curds or the cheese is the by product of milk fermentation by lactobacilli this is a great food by itself as it is full of beneficial microbes you may feed this to the soil to the compost pile uh, you may give it to your plants in a diluted form uh, you may give it to your pets animals even it's uh, edible by humans just add salt to it and uh, try it out they are full of good nutrients and microbes so please do not waste it at all for immediate usage of the lab serum store it in a clean container and ensure that you use it within a week if you prepare in large quantities you may want to refrigerate the lab serum the uh, lactobacilli go into a dormant mode they will not die they will not require food but uh, they will stop multiplying and they will go dormant essentially they'll be in a sleep mode if you want to store in room temperature add equal volume of molasses or jaggery water to the lab serum when you prepare jaggery water just ensure that the consistency is the same as that of the lab serum once you have added the uh, jaggery or molasses water to the lab serum the mix can be stored at room temperature for 6 months or so how much lab serum are we making let me take an example if you take 100 ml of rice wash water at the end of step 1 you will be adding 1 liter milk to it so that the ratio is 1 is to 10 so in step 2 the mix will be 1.1 liters in volume at the end of step 2 the cheese portion uh, will be approximately 100 ml so we are going to remove it so we we'll land up with approximately 1 liter of pure lab serum this can be used within one week or it can be refrigerated if you want to keep it in room temperature to this 1 liter of lab serum you will be adding 1 liter of molasses or jaggery water so you get 2 liter stabilized lab which can be stored at room temperature in my next video i will explain how to use lab in diverse usage scenarios at home in gardening in farm context for livestock fish etc thank you for watching my video have a great day